Welcome back everyone to the deep dive. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Tesla's full self-driving version 13. FSDV 13. Yeah, F FSDV 13. Yeah. And we've got a whole bunch of articles and uh, some first-hand accounts. Research. Research, yeah. yeah, all about it. And basically we want to answer the question, is this update going to push autonomous driving into the mainstream? It really feels like a massive step forward. You know, it's not just an incremental update. Uh -huh. This is a pact with changes. Yeah. that could totally change how we think about driving. Okay, so let's just start with the basics. What's the biggest change you've noticed so far? For me, it's got to be the overall driving experience. Okay. It just feels so much smoother, more responsive, more intelligent even. More intelligent. Okay, now you're just using big words. Well. Break it down for us. What makes it feel so different from the older versions? Okay, so let's start with the hardware. The new AI4 cameras. Yeah. Those are operating at 5.44 megapixels. Wow. At 36 FPS. And that's a huge jump from the older HW3 cameras, which a lot of drivers said weren't really cutting it in some situations. So it's like going from like that old blurry standard definition <laughs> to like super crisp 4K. Exactly. And that means way better object detection more accurate lane keeping, right, yeah. smoother ride overall. But it goes even deeper than just seeing better V13 is actually starting to understand the world more like a human would. Now that's where it gets really interesting. So tell me a bit more about how that understanding actually works when you're out on the road. Okay, so Tesla tripled the size of the AI model. Wow. And they've really beefed up its contextual processing. Okay. What that means is V13 isn't just reacting to what it sees, it's actually starting to predict what could happen next. Okay, so like, give me an example. How does that actually play out in real life? All right, so imagine you're approaching an intersection yeah. and a kid's ball rolls into the street. Oh no. An older system might just see that as an object in its path. Right. But V13 with this new contextual awareness, it's more likely to predict that a kid might chase after that ball and adjust how it drives accordingly. Wow. So that's a total game changer for safety, yeah. especially for like pedestrians and cyclists that's, who are just yeah. more vulnerable. But how does it actually learn to make those kinds of predictions? So Tesla has upped the training data for V13 by like 4.2 times. Of course. And they've pumped up the compute power by five times. So they're basically feeding the AI a ridiculous amount of real world driving data, okay. which lets it learn and adapt incredibly fast. So it's like a student driver. Yeah. But logging millions of miles in the blink of an eye. Exactly. That's impressive. Yep. But hold on, I read something about V13 using sound now too. Yes. To help it make decisions. How does that work? So V13 now uses audio input. Right. It can detect things like emergency vehicle sirens well, and heard. react accordingly. That's gotta be super important for safety. It is. Especially when you can't see everything around you. Exactly. So like imagine you're at an intersection. Right. The system hears a siren coming, but you can't see the ambulance yet. It might suggest you pull over just in case. So it's like having another set of senses, always on the lookout. Exactly. That's wild. And it doesn't stop there, right? No. What about parking and navigation? Anything new there? Oh, yeah. Tons of upgrades there, too. Too. Yeah. So picture this. You pull up to a tight parallel parking spot. Yeah, the worst. No more stress. Just turn on the unpark reverse and park features. Okay. V13 handles the rest like a pro. That's like a dream come true for anyone who hates parallel parking. Right. And what about navigation? Okay. Say goodbye to getting stuck behind surprise road closures. The worst. V13 has dynamic routing, so it changes your route in real time based on traffic, uh -huh. road closures, all that. So it's not just about getting from A to B. Nope. It's about getting there as smoothly as possible. Exactly. Yeah. And all of that, the better cameras, the smarter AI, the safety features, it all comes together to make driving feel so different yeah. than anything before it. So it sounds like Tesla's really up their game with this V13. But how does this all fit into the bigger picture of autonomous driving? What does this tell us about where driving is headed? It really feels like a preview of what driving could be. Yeah. You know, fully autonomous. Yeah. Cars navigating crazy situations. Right. Oh, maybe even better than human drivers. It's a pretty bold vision. Right. But we're still in the early stages, right? What are some of the things we still got to figure out before everyone's driving these things? Oh, for sure. Yeah. There are still challenges. We got to make sure this tech is rock solid. Yeah. In any weather, any situation. Right. Public trust is huge too. People need to feel safe. Yeah, they got to understand how it all works. Exactly. And we need a good track record to show them it's reliable. Okay, and what about all the legal stuff? That's a whole other can of worms, isn't it? Absolutely. As this tech keeps getting better, 
the laws need to keep up. Yeah. You know, like who's at fault if there's an accident with one of these cars? Right. What are the rules for testing and putting these things on the road? We need answers to these questions. Yeah. It sounds like we've got a lot of work ahead of us. We do. On the tech side and just figuring out what this means for society as a whole. For sure. But I'm optimistic. Yeah. We're making amazing progress. Uh -huh. Companies like Tesla are pushing the limits of what's possible. Yeah. I think with everyone working together, okay. we can make driving safer, more efficient. Right. And just make our lives easier. Okay. So let's zoom in on Tesla for a second. Yeah. What makes their approach different? So Tesla is all about building a system that learns from the real world. Okay. From tons of data. Mm -hmm. It's not just following some pre-programmed rules or maps. Right. It's designed to understand the little things about driving. Yeah. You know how unpredictable it can be mm. having to make decisions in a split second? It's like teaching a car to think like a human driver. Exactly. But a way better driver. Yeah. And that's what we're seeing with V13. It's not perfect. Sure. But it's getting closer to that goal of truly driving itself. It does. And the way they're doing it. Yeah by teaching the system to learn from real drivers, right? that's what makes Tesla stand out. It's like they're not just giving the car instructions, right. they're teaching it to think. Exactly, like a super driver. Yeah, and you can really see that in how V13 handles tough situations. Uh -huh. It's not just reacting, it's thinking ahead. It is. Almost like it knows what's going to happen next. It feels a lot more like a human driver. That's getting better all the time. Yeah, and that feeling of it's getting smarter. Right. That's key to getting people on board with this whole autonomous driving thing. Definitely. People need to trust it. Exactly. And see that it's getting more capable. So if you've been following FSD for a while. Yeah. V13 is a huge step forward. It's like a sneak peek. It is. Into a future where cars really can drive themselves. A future that's closer than we think. But it's not all about the tech, though, is it? No. We still need to figure out all the rules and regulations. Absolutely. Make sure everything is safe mm -hmm. and get people comfortable with the idea. For sure. This conversation needs to go beyond just the tech itself. Exactly. How is this going to change our cities? Right. Our lives? Our future? It's a really interesting time to be following this stuff. It is. Who knows what's coming next? I know, right? But one thing's for sure. Autonomous driving is here to stay. It is. And it's going to change everything. Yeah. Well, that's it for our deep dive into Tesla FSD V13. We hope you found it insightful. We hope it got you thinking. And if you want to keep up with all the latest in the world of autonomous driving, make sure to subscribe to the Driverless Journal. Until next time, drive safe and keep your eyes on the road.